Hello students, in the current video I will explain the concept of profit maximization versus wealth maximization, how these concepts are differ from each other and what are the difference between these two concepts that we will understand in this video. Already I made video on profit maximization as well as wealth maximization covering the favorable as well as unfavorable argument with regards to the profit as well as wealth maximization. Please do watch that video for better understanding of this concept. So let's start this video. Video. When we are discussing about the differences between profit maximization, wealth maximization here, I have given basis as well as how these two are differ from each other. When you come to the objective, the objective of profit maximization always to increase the profit through efficient management or efficient operations. So always the profit maximization objective is to increase the profits. Whereas when you come to the wealth maximization, here the objective will be increasing the market value of the firm by increasing the value of the stakeholders, value of the shareholders as well as wealth creation for the shareholders. So value increase in the market is the primary objective of wealth maximization. When you come to the basis, it is based on book profit. In the sense, the concept of profit maximization is based on book profit, whereas wealth maximization is based on cash flow. Please try to understand there is a difference between book profit and cash flow. Book profit is the amount calculated after considering notional and actual items of expenditure, whereas cash flow is a pure cash flow. There is a difference between cash flow and profit. When you come to the focus, focus of profit maximization always would be on shareholders. In the sense, how to increase the profit for the shareholders, how to give higher return to the shareholders. Whereas, when you come to the wealth maximization, here the high focus would be on stakeholders. Please try to understand difference between stakeholders and shareholders. Shareholders is refers to the people who have invested money who are the shareholders of the company. Whereas stakeholders refers to the people who are having stake in the company, inclusive of shareholders. In the sense, shareholders as well as the employees of the company, the workers of the company, creditors of the company, debtors of the company, whoever is having little bit of interest in the company, those people are called as stakeholders. Stakeholders inclusive of shareholders, whereas shareholders not inclusive of stakeholders. So shareholders and stakeholders are different. But whereas wealth maximization is concentrating on increasing the value to the stakeholders. Focus on the stakeholders of the company, inclusive of everyone, employees, workers, creditors, debtors all the people value should be increased by the company. Whereas when you come to the time horizon, focus on gains in the short run. In the sense, profitability calculation will take place for one year. So that's the reason why we will call it as it is a short run. Whereas wealth maximization seeks to achieve long period objectives, how to select the investment proposal which can give us the benefit in the long duration. That will be the basic objective of the profit maximization. Time value of money. This is very important. In profit maximization, we don't consider time value of money since we are more concerned about the profits of the company. Whereas in case of wealth maximization, we consider time value in the sense how much gains we can get in the future and we will consider the project based on time value of money concept. So time value of money concept videos have already made. I will share the link in the i button as well as in the description box. Please do watch those videos to better understand the time value of money concept. When you come to the risk, risk factor will not be considered under profit maximization. Risk and uncertainty will not be considered. Only the concentration would be on income and expenditure so that we can calculate the profits. Whereas in case of wealth maximization, it will consider risk factor as well as uncertainty which is inherent in the business model of the company. Every business model will have some kind of a risk and uncertainty. That will be considered by wealth maximization only, not profit maximization. When you come to the pricing, profit maximization cannot afford to keep the prices lower than it cost price, since their focus would be on earning more profits. Whereas in case of wealth maximization, there is a lot of flexibility in pricing as the organization wants to adopt market penetration strategy whereby they wanted to get more share of the market. If they have more share of their product in the market, they can earn more profits down the line in future. Presently, they may incur losses, but in future, they may earn more profit. Best example is 
Reliance Geo, how the strategy applied by Reliance Geo in case of internet connections that you are very well aware. So that is called as profit ma wealth maximization strategy. Right. I hope I made you understand the entire crux of the profit as well as wealth maximization. I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching my video. Do subscribe my channel, mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative informative videos. Thank you very much.